This judge is going to say you're guilty and sentence you to prison for murder. Why? Because you went past the red light. The red light said no, but you said no, I'm going to do my way. Now God has his ten red lights. His ten red lights are, have no other gods before him, don't use his name in vain, don't lie, don't steal, don't commit adultery. Those are some of his red lights that he says, don't go past. And we say, no, no, no. You say, God, don't lie. We don't care, we're going to lie. God says, don't steal. You say, no, 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 I'm going to steal. God says, don't commit adultery. And you say, no, 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 I'm going to commit adultery. Those are the red lights that we cross. And there are consequences for those red lights that we cross. We become guilty before God. We become guilty before God. And the Bible says, all fall short of the glory of God. I heard that. I heard that. All fall short of the glory of God. All fall short of the glory of God. All fall short of the glory of God. Every time we break the commandments of God, we come short of God's glory and God has to judge. Now how are you going to get out of the judgment? When God judges you, sir, if you lie, how are you going to get out of the judgments of God? There's no way, is there? If you steal and you meet God, you can't get out of it, can you? He's going to judge you. But guess what? You can't get out of it. You can get a pardon. Do you know how? The way to get a pardon is by Jesus Christ. I'll tell you a story. There was a king. And this king, he said, anybody who steals in my kingdom, I want your eyes, both eyes plucked out. So, his son, the prince, stole. And so they captured him. And they were going to pluck his eyes out. And the king came down to the dungeon and said, don't pluck the eyes of my son out. Take my eyes. Take my eyes. So they took his eyes and saved his son. You are condemned by God if you break the Ten Commandments. You come before him guilty. But guess what? God says, don't send him to hell. I'll die on the cross for him. I'll die on the cross for her. And when Christ was dying on the cross, he was paying your penalty on that cross. Do you believe it, sir? God. Do you believe it? He paid the penalty for you on that cross.